Over one month, I am hosting two back-to-back -back hiking expeditions in Pakistan. Starting in Lahore, so far we have traveled through Islamabad and onwards into the mountains, hiking around Fairy Meadows, and we have then made our way onto Karimabad in the heart of the Hunza Valley. In this episode, we will be discovering the mighty Mount Rakaposhi, the 27th highest mountain in the world. We will spend two days hiking from Minapin to Rakaposhi Base Camp, making lifelong connections and memories as we push ourselves on this physical challenge. So stick around to see how the team get on. My name is Christiane and welcome to Pakistan. Once the team had arrived in Karimabad, the sun went down and there was one main thing on the agenda shopping. Local rubies. Karimabad is home to many small handicrafts, gems and jewellery shops. And being in the heart of the Hunza Valley, you can find authentic Hunza rubies and emeralds for astonishing prices. Colin decided it was also time for a new wardrobe. What well, are the options? This? This one. Or this one. Or this one's softer. Oh, that one. Yeah? Yeah, I Feeling think so. It? Yeah. Will look good? Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Oh, wow! <laughs> He's oh, feeling yeah. himself. <laughs> What's the name of the jacket? This one is Artagul. I look good. Yes. You look absolutely fantastic, Colin. The area surrounding Karimabad in the Hunza Valley is just absolutely spectacular. So in the afternoon, we embarked on a relaxing hike up to Eagle's Nest where we stayed for the night. And in the distance, we could see what was about to be our next big challenge, Rakaposhi. So in order to get there, we first traveled through the Hunza Valley to a town called Minipin where our hike would begin. everyone i hope you're well oh what a way to start this vlog i'm very out of breath because i'm climbing mount rakaposhi and now i'm hurking in my birkenstocks because i don't know if you can see but i have quite terrible blisters on the back of my ankles hi guys <laughs> i can't even take myself seriously today okay we are about maybe 45 minutes away from our campsite tonight where we said it's called Hapakun. And, and there we're making a fire, setting up our tents and having some local traditional Pakistani food. We've got a guy making butter over here. Or yogurt, we're not entirely sure. It was a challenging hike up to Hapakun with steep inclines and hot weather, but the team took their time and we made it in good time. Guys. We made it. Absolutely knackered, but so, so happy to have got here. Let's tell you the stats. So it was exactly a seven kilometre walk. Took two hours and 55 minutes with an elevation gain of 766 metres. <coughs> Pretty good effort, if, if I do say so myself. Um, that last, like, 20 minutes to half an hour was pretty brutal. It was the steepest hill I've ever tried getting up, especially in my Birkenstocks. But we're here, we did it. Happy days. Ah, oh, there's some people at the top. Nice smiley people. And here is where we're staying for the night. How insane is this? Intense. That's good. These look cracking. Oh, Mountain boss. noodles. Yes, please. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the Biryani, is it? This is Palau. 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 Dalmash. Dalmash. Dalmash.
Good morning, everybody. Let's take a little trip to the toilet, shall we? I actually slept amazingly last night. Surprisingly, I don't normally sleep well in tents, but clearly I needed the sleep and I got seven and a half hours. Um, here's the toilet. Oh, it's very muddy underfoot. I haven't even been to the toilet yet since arriving at this campsite yesterday. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so nice. I basically um, was pissing on my foot by accident. <laughs> I don't know, luckily, I was just wearing my waterproof Birkenstock, so I was able to give them a little bit of a rinse afterwards. Lovely. Welcome to camping life. And over here, we've got breakfast. Morning, everyone. Morning. Christiane, you want coffee? Thank you to Devon. Out. From Pennsylvania. Oh, these come all the way from Pennsylvania. They, have. they came from Amazon, so I have no idea where they're at. Oh. <laughs> Straight from Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Daddy Chai for Sophia. We gave up on the Friday. See my blister. Oh, that's graphic content. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. But that's why I was wearing Burks yesterday. And I will wear Burks again today, probably. Cream up. I can feel myself like even when I, bless you, like exert the littlest bit of effort, like getting out of breath. Yeah, like I'm feeling the altitude already, so... You'll feel the altitude today anyway. Yeah. Sure. Today, we are hiking up to Rakaposhi Base Camp. Yep, so it's a pretty steep assault for maybe an hour and a half. And then we get a viewpoint of the kind of glacier fall all the way from Rakaposhi and the surrounding peaks. Um, and then we'll step down to a sun trap, which is the base camp. Right. And we do Ready that going past a jade mine, which is under heavy supervision, as you can imagine. Uh, where we'll have some tea and then walk up the ridge and walk down to the glacier uh, before we're turning back down here to Hapakun for some lunch. Hapakun! Hapakun! Lunch is nice. simple but basic but perfect after a long hike and then we'll have some local traditional food again for dinner tonight. Beautiful. Um... Around the campfire afterwards then for some chats. We've only been going five minutes and we're absolutely knackered. <laughs> Apparently the first 20 minutes is just super, super steep uphill. Rakaposhi base camp. There's so much going on up here. <laughs> we did it! Well done, everyone! Yoohoo! Rakaposhi base camp. Oh, my lips are so dry. Do you know what? In Lahore, they were wonderful, warm, and juicy. And ever since we've been up in the mountains, they've just been so dry, no matter what I do to them. <laughs> oh, wow. Mountain life. Oh, here he is. Chai chai. Chai chai. Chai, chai. chai, chai. I thought they'd just like drop, like drop wherever it was. RIP is mine. Oh, that's good. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just <laughs> trying, to, sweet. trying to sweet me up. Because you'd be able to get some epic footage. I'm like cold one minute, hot the um, next. The noodles have arrived. Go on, Sophia. <laughs> get your noodles. Here we are at base camp. <laughs> Rack up or she getting bowl of noodles. Jade, you happy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. Oh, it's like some macaroni mixed with some spaghetti. It's like the one boy that goes around the world. It's famous. Like you can buy it mm. in China, you can buy it in Australia. Eat the noodles. Like oh, yes. But it's so good. 
Every time we've gotten pasta on this trip, I just get so happy. <laughs> the curry is nice, but we know that I'm a pasta fanatic. Mm, mm, mm. Look at this. One, two, three, four glaciers coming together. And Mount Rakaboshi. I don't know if you can see Devon in the far distance of this ridge. He's decided to go for, go for his own little uh, walk. He's sick of us, sick of our shit. having a mental breakdown. Dusty and rocky underneath our feet. So we'll look where we're going. All righty, we just got back down into camp and before my watch runs out of battery, which it's about to, it's on like 1%, let me tell you the stats. So for up to Rakaposhi base camp and back down again, it took us three hours and 17 minutes. That does not include the pauses that we took. Uh, it was a total of 7.55 kilometers. Uh, burnt 752 active calories with a total elevation gain of 519 meters. Well done, everyone. Would you like to see my feet? I know you do. Take shoes off. Wow. wow. Yeah. Only fans coming soon. I need to go wash my feet. There we go. He's washing dishes here, so I won't go upstream with him. They're not perfect, but it's a bit better, isn't it? it takes a lot of work. Yeah. Keep mixing it, folding it. What are you making? This uh, chapati for our dinner. This is the salt bay of Hapakun. Salt bay of Hapakun. <laughs> so despite the fact that we're literally on a campsite in the middle of the mountains, the bread is made fresh every single day. Twice a day, every day. There we go, first chapati. Now it's Christian's turn. Okay, so I'm pretty sure he did a bit of this. A bit of that, yeah. yeah. Good job. It's one of these soft, nice soft balls. Yeah. Go on, roll that ball. <laughs> roll that ball. Okay. How's she doing, how they're good or bad? Yes, yes, yes good, good. <laughs> yeah, the it's taking me much good. longer than I feel like it took it. It probably is, yeah. <laughs> I want to get it in a perfect circle. So that's what he did. Backpacking the mountain snakes, chapati. Backpacking chapati. It's got a ring to it, does it not? Yeah. How's that? Is that good chapati? Yeah. Mashallah. Pasta. <laughs> well done, well. Here's the chapati I just rolled, I and mean, we just I think it's a bit thicker than the rest. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's good. That's good. Oh, it's a good yeah. one. This guy just rolls it so quickly. What a man, what a man, what a what man, a what a mighty good man, mighty, mighty good man. Oh, that looks good. Dinner tonight. Who's hungry? Me. Oh, oh, Aziz looks so happy to have food. Rice, rice. Wait, for you. Oh. And I'm sorry, this is a dinner with a view, yeah, isn't it? Is there a Welcome to the no, and Christy, you should all be sitting with your tent mate. Mm -hmm. What the crew did not know is that Caitlin and I had secretly teamed up over the past two days to put together a quiz involving questions about moments of the trip so far, group member trivia, and some general knowledge too. It was a chaotic quiz around the campfire that was a great way to spend our final evening on Brakaposhi. In the morning, it was another beautiful sunny day and the team sat on the grass to have a wholesome group breakfast. Good morning everybody from Hakapom campsite. Well, <laughs> we are still here 
but we are about to leave a little bit later because there's like a massive religious procession going on down in reality and so we've kind of been just postponing our time a little bit up here but it's been glorious the sun's been shining we've been stretching we've been sunbathing tents have now gone down they were all here and uh, it's 11 o'clock and we are gonna head back down the mountain back where we came from on day one nice sunglasses Devon hey, thanks I really like the fact that they match your headband actually oh that's cool and your um, and your backpack I didn't even notice to be honest it's a look yeah Hello. As you can see, the descents down these mountains are a lot less strenuous than how it was to climb up. <laughs> so we've managed to descend from the Koshi, and we have been blocked from leaving the town at the bottom of the Mount Kamilipin because of Muharam. And that means uh, our driver has no way of getting yeah, into us, and we've no way to get into him. So we have stopped in a lovely little hotel, and we're having lunch <laughs> to pass some time. And we're playing Chinese whispers. Go on, you're, you're, you're doing the last one. <laughs> here, we, here it goes. <laughs> it's Colin as a wanker. <laughs> Who knew a game of Chinese whispers could be so fun? In the next episode, we make our way out of Minapin all the way up to the most northern point of our trip. We get to marvel at the unbelievable Lake Atabad, hike on a black glacier, stay with a local family, go for a well-deserved swim, and some of the team even dare to cross this unbelievable bridge. There is so much adventure still to be had, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and we'll see you then.